Building a recall is really easy when you know how to break it down into your parts. The first thing you want to do is you want to get your proper equipment to get started. You need a leash or a long line and you need a high value toy or a high value treat. You want the absolute highest value thing, the thing that your dog absolutely goes nuts for every time they see it. Next you're going to pick your recall word. Next you're going to start in the house where it's low distraction. Hey, dog's name, recall, treat, toy, whatever. Make it a party. Make it a jackpot party like he just won the lottery. If your dog ignores you, you're going to get their attention, get up and walk towards them, say their name, say the recall, give them the toy and the treat. And then you're going to keep doing that until as soon as you say their name and the recall, they jump up and they come to you. And then you're going to put them on the leash and you're going to go in your yard and you're going to practice the same thing. You want to set your dog up for success while you're doing this. So don't initiate a recall, especially in the beginning, when your dog is actively invested in sniffing something. Give your dog a chance to finish their sniff, say their name, recall, reward. Say their name, recall, reward. And then you're going to build up and you're going to get more distractions. And once your dog has mastered distractions, you're going to move on to another place and repeat the whole cycle. Just remember when you start someplace new, your dog is not going to generalize what they just learned from someplace else. So you're, whenever you start someplace new, you're going to take a couple steps back and start over. Some dogs can generalize after like three or four tries. Some dogs take like 10 different places before they start generalizing, oh, no matter what, I come back to you. The other thing in the beginning, while your dog is on the long line, is when you use your recall, if your dog does not respond, you're going to put just a tiny bit of pressure on that leash. And then as soon as they look at you, then you're going to act like they, you didn't have to get their attention. Okay? You're going to, still going to give them the party as soon as they get to you. You're creating a conditioned emotional response so that every time they hear that recall word, it's, oh my god, this is amazing. And then you're slowly going to build up distractions. You're slowly going to build up dis distance and you're slowly going to build into new environment. Check the description for some common errors to avoid as well.